good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today, I want to share something with you that I just found on Pinterest. And the reason I'm making this is because apple fritters are one of Harold's favorite things in the world. Wherever we go, if there's a, a place that sells apple fritters, we have to stop. So I saw this. It's by 12 Tomatoes. It's a place that I follow. They have good recipes. And um, it looked so simple because you're going to start off with two 8-count cinnamon rolls. And what I did, I bought the Walmart brand. Now, the Pillsbury, you know, is very good, but this was a lot cheaper. It tells you to take those out and put them on a piece of parchment paper. And here's what I haven't done. This is the way it came out. And then it said to flatten it and stretch it so it'll be like a, a, a little pancake. And that's what I have done. And then we're going to take uh, a third of a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And we're going to mix those together. There's one. And there's two. Just going to mix that together and uh, put it aside for right now. Then you're going to take one stick of butter and a half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And we're going to mix that together. I'm going to mix that with a spoon. All right. Well, actually, I'm going to mix it with a fork. And what we're going to do with that is we'll spread that over each of the cinnamon rolls in just a minute. But you're going to take two um, Granny Smith apples and peel them. I've already done that. And you're going to grate those. I wanted to have all this done so I wouldn't be taking up so much of your time. But you need to see, that, you know, exactly what you do. And that's why I waited to do it until I got you on here. All right. I want to tell you that um, last week my daughter and her best friend took my best friend Jane and me to Christmas Village in Birmingham. Jane and I just took our time. We knew we couldn't move as fast as Amy and Bridget. But we had the best time, and I bet you, without going over, that I was able to meet at least 15 people of those who follow me. They stopped me and they told me, they said, your mama Sue. I said, yes. And they said, we watch you, and we just wanted to say hi, and you know, that made me feel so good. I, I, I wish I could just meet every one of you and hug your necks. Okay, now what we're gonna do, these that are flattened and, and that's about the size of it, we're gonna take and we're gonna spread some of the butter mixture and then put some of the grated apple I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. And then, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that part before I sprinkle because my hands are going to get wet. It says on the recipe that you just do 
about four, three or four of them, and you stack those. So I'm gonna do what the recipe said. So there's two of them. Three, four. Now, I'm gonna stack these. All right, now we're going to do four more. And you know, I got ahead of myself, and I just realized it. You've probably already realized it. Those that I stacked, I didn't put the sugar and cinnamon, so I'm going to have to pull them apart and put that. Now, let me just kind of take these apart a little bit. Put this good old cinnamon and sugar. Oh yeah. That was, I was gonna leave out the best part, wasn't I? Now let's put apple. Yeah, I like to talk and sometimes when I'm talking, I forget and Harold's not standing here to remind me. He, he would have said, forgot your cinnamon and sugar. Maybe you're gonna realize we all make mistakes sometimes. Y'all, I'm feeling good. I did have to start taking two of my pills, but they gave me some instruction as to how uh, to increase my low modal, and it has helped. Thank you, Lord. It's not long till Thanksgiving, y'all. I hope that you are already planning your menu. And I know last year I wasn't very good at showing you what all I cook, because I cook year before I did, but I think I'm going to re-show you how I, I cook a few of my always dishes that I have. I have buttered a loaf pan. I'm going to make sure that I get these in there. And we're making it, we're pushing them together. And it's going to make like a little loaf, isn't it? I'm hoping and praying, y'all pray with me, that baby Blake is going to be well and he's going to get to come to his Gigi's house for Thanksgiving. He's never been. His mama hasn't been. It'll be three years because the year before he was born was uh, COVID and, you know, people didn't travel. I'm hoping so much that he's gonna get to come and the whole family will be here. You know, that would make it the best Thanksgiving. And I am believing. Uh, what I'm gonna do this last one on this end, I'm gonna turn it around so the apple is touching the other one instead of the end of uh, this because you don't want the apple on the very ends. Now I've got my hands dirty again. But what the recipe says to do is to take a piece of aluminum foil, cover this. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna cook bake this for uh, 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna take the foil off and I'm going to bake it for 15 to 20 more minutes. And when I do that and it comes out, I'll be back. Okay, this baked covered for 30 minutes and I uncovered it and then I cooked it for about 16 minutes. Took it out and let it cool in the pan for Oh, 15 minutes, and I've turned it over, and y'all, it smells so good. Now, I'm gonna make the glaze, and the way you make it is you take a half a cup of powdered sugar. Make sure that I get this right, all right? And you're gonna put, it says one to three tablespoons of cream, and I have the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna start off with, I think two. And 
and I'm going to see if that is enough. And it may not, it's not going to be, I don't think. Not if I want it to drizzle. <clears throat> so let me put one more. All right. And I'm just going to mix it. I've got some on my counter. But I'll clean that up in a little bit. Now, I don't know why you couldn't use the glaze that comes with the cinnamon roll, but it gave this recipe and I'm gonna try it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this over the top. And just spread it. What is so neat about this is you're going to be able to pull it apart. And you would have 16 pieces if you do that. Of course, you know, if you want to, and it's just the two of you, you could pull off about a, a fourth of it, couldn't you, Harold? <laughs> he loves apple fritters. So, you know, normally we would say, let this cool. I think what we're going to do, you'll get me one of those white plates up there. I'm going to see if we can't just pull off a piece of it. That's two pieces. Yeah. Kind of warm. But that's the way it looks. And that's the way it looks inside. There's not a doubt in my mind that this is going to be absolutely delicious. It may not taste just exactly like an individual apple fritter that is fried, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. Y'all, before I go today, I wanna read you some scripture. You know, there, t there are many times in our life that we don't know what we're to do. You know, am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do that? And, you know, we're trying to make up our own mind. But in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, it tells you this. <clears throat> it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do. And he will show you the path to take. You know, what we want to do may be totally against what God wants for us. So the word says in Proverbs 3, 5, to trust the Lord in everything. Seek his will, and then he's going to give you the right path to take. Y'all, I just want you to know I appreciate you so much. I'm going to ask you again to please like my page and share it and comment if you don't mind. And be salt and light wherever you go. It's on my apron. It's on my t-shirts. And it's just we have to do something. God wants us to be a light in this dark world. But anyway, I'll be back soon. Thank you for joining me.